Thank you for keeping us company. And if you just tuned in, this is OI254 News Highlights. Now, discussion Monday begins with our discussion tonight, talking about the county voids. We want to see where is our position, especially in Nairobi County, where now a section of MCEs are planning to impeach the speaker, who is our governor, Kutz and Kutz. I'm speaking to Cyrus Litsua. He's an analyst. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Karibu sana. Asante. Now, uh, we've had problems with our country in terms of governance. And already as we speak, three counties do not have their governors. Yes. We have Sambur, we have Kembu, and we have Nairobi. Yes. And in the case of Nairobi, the person in charge, uh, the MCAs are planning to remove her. First things first. If she goes... What happens to Nairobi County? Uh, thank you very much. First of all, I want to send my condolences to the late Charles Dubia, who was a father of the multi-party that we are enjoying right now. Uh, right now, I can say, from where I sit, I see Elachi being impeached is a bit tricky. Why? Looking at the ruling on 7th May 2019, she is saved from impeachment until further notice. Not anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Not today, not tomorrow. And for her coming back, it was strategic. Because one, she enjoyed the political divide mm -hmm. from both Jubilee and ODM. True. And uh, the ones who impeached her were the Jubilee uh, MCS with a few support from ODM MCS. Mm -hmm. But the one who fought for half comeback at the ODM MCS. So she enjoys, right now she enjoys the political support from both parties which form the Nairobi County Assembly. And uh, when she was impeached, it was something that was choreographed by, let me put in quotes, subject to, uh, to be for contradiction by the governor himself, Sonko, mm -hmm. is the one who choreographed the impeachment of Elachi. Because one, Sonko has been fought, or Sonko has been targeted for a, a while. And uh, for him, remember when he was, when uh, the nomination of Jubilee in 2017, there was a controversy, there was an interest, there, there's a team that had interest in Peter Kenneth, and there's a team that had interest in Sonko. Mm, so the, the Sonko team saw Sonko will deliver the seat because they were that a Jubilee cannot be the government, and yet they are not ruling Nairobi. Nairobi mm. is in the opposition. Mm -hmm. So compared, comparison between Sonko and Peter Kenneth, Sonko was the best bet to deliver the seat for Jubilee. Mm -hmm. And that... Because of numbers? Because of numbers and because of the support that he enjoys mm -hmm. in Nairobi. Remember when he was being voted in for a senator, the vote he garnered, mm -hmm. even more votes than what the president got in Nairobi County. Mm -hmm. So this one, these were some of the things that gave him an upper hand against, against uh, Peter Kenneth, mm -hmm. who they believed cannot lead. And that then they gave him a competent and uh, a very serious educated person, eh? Igade, to assist him. But Igade could not work with him because Sonko also believed Igade was being smart. Yeah, and a politician some, and a technocrat. Yes, and also to some extent Sonko saw whatever is happening right now mm -hmm. then. The only thing Sonko didn't do is to safeguard himself. All right. And when Sonko realized this was coming, that's why he planned for the impeachment of Elachi. Mm -hmm. And he took the leadership and uh, gave it to the speaker leadership and gave it to the Ngara MCA, Maura Chege. Mm -hmm. And so you saw he has, uh, Chege has been acting for a very, uh, a very long period of time, till now. OK. But, uh, but now you see. You just mentioned it was strategic for yes. Elachi to be impeached. Yes. But also, uh, I would want to understand, was it a strategic thing for her to now come back? Because as soon as she came back, mm -hmm. 
then Sunku uh, problems began. Yes. Was it strategic that she gets into the office, then Sunku is arrested? Now, remember I said eh, she's enjoying the political uh, support from the political divide. Mm -hmm. Remember, after the handshake, there, there were two camps that were formed mm -hmm. by the women. Yeah. One, Team Inua Dada, I mean Inua Mama. Mm -hmm. Another one, Team Embrace. Mm -hmm. Now, she placed herself with Team Embrace. Okay? Which had numbers as which well. Which had numbers and which was very vibrant mm -hmm. and which they say they were supporting the handshake. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the ideology they were running with, mm -hmm. they were supporting the handshake. Okay? Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that made her, okay, come back because she placed herself strategically with people like Gladys Wanga. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you see the friendship between Uhuru and uh, Raila. Mm -hmm. So Gladys Wanga you can say this is like a, 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 a personal friend to Raila. So mm -hmm. when uh, Elachi go walks with uh, uh, Gladys Wanga, what do you expect? But a comeback. Mm -hmm. So later, we see her coming back, and the ODM MCAs are the one who brings her to the office and supports and tells these others and rallies some other few MCAs, OK? Mm -hmm. If anyone comes and touches Elachi, and you saw how it was, if anyone comes and touches Elachi, then we are going to deal with you. And that was the message. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm telling you right now to impeach, to come back, to go to the assembly and impeaching uh, this, this lady, mm -hmm. the speaker, to be very tricky and very challenging. Because one, the court ruled that she will never be impeached till further notice. The ruling on 7th May, 2019. Mm -hmm. Then the political divide supporting her. Okay? So when she came back, Sonko, it was now time to fry Sonko. Sonko has been fried. Mm -hmm. Now he's facing how he's dancing to his own tune. And looking at the ruling that uh, uh, Justice uh, Mumbingugi uh, did uh, l l sometimes back on uh, Zamburu governor and Waititu, that mm -hmm. any governor facing graft allegations should not access the office. The other time we saw Sonko giving a press conference, mm -hmm. stating that she don't, she, she, he would prefer Justice Bumbingugi not to deliver mm -hmm. that uh, ruling again. Right. But what happened? Whoever delivered the, 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 the ruling re reinstated to what the other judge eh, had, 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 had said earlier on. Mm -hmm. So, right now, what's the system? Uh, let me now put the system. Mm -hmm is working now towards its goal, okay? Right. The goal is doing away with Sonko. And it's going to work strategically. Because I've seen the minority, the minority whip in my talk, yeah, the okay. uh, Makongeni MCA, True. St has stated clearly they have to impeach Sonko. Because his but case... Now, even the court, the court that ruled Elachi should not be impeached, the same court that uh, said uh, suspended the impeachment of Sonko. So the only thing that is remaining is maybe him being jailed, and if he, he is not jailed, he will come back. Then what happens from there? Uh, for Sonko coming back, based on the ruling of uh, Mumb uh, Justice Mumbi, it is, being, it, it is tricky, because he cannot access the office at the moment. <laughs> and you saw when uh, this governor, even Waititu, when he tried to say that uh, I want to set aside an another office, <laughs> you saw what the DPP responded. Mm -hmm. Okay, because DPP is also watching them. Mm -hmm. You saw when uh, the Sambulu governor tried to reshuffle the office. Mm -hmm. You saw what the DPP said. Mm -hmm. That uh, the, the, he'll go to he'll he'll, uh, he'll last the court so that the the governor be arrested and his bail be forfeited. What does it mean? He'll go to jail mm -hmm. and going to jail. Now Sambulu needs to have another leadership. Okay, whether well, the deputy governor takes over mm -hmm. and after taking over, now he appoints the. The, 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 uh, uh, the deputy governor, which is something that everybody is protecting. Mm -hmm. So I rather sit there in the house and not at attend to uh, matters concerning governance in my county mm -hmm. rather than being behind bars. Okay. Okay. Now for Sonko, it's a bit tricky because this one, Sonko and Oititu is tricky mm -hmm. because this one, the system is fighting them. Remember, there are two fractions in Jubilee. There's the Kieleweke team and the Tanga Tanga team, as they say right. themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the, 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 the groups are dying now. Uh, <laughs> we can say the groups are dying, but the groups are, have come have come up again. Mm -hmm. If you look at the nation of today, 
the 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 the, the Tanga Tanga team Okay, okay. And Keleoke team mm -hmm. are also fighting ag over the issue of uh, Waititu. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the, the Tanga Tanga team are, are calling upon their members to support Waititu, mm -hmm. and that's why even you see it has been tricky for even Tuju himself eh? mm -hmm. when he called the MCS, okay, right. to hold on the on the on the impeachment thing the other the other uh, two weeks or one week ago mm -hmm. at the office at the Jubilee offices, mm -hmm. but later on. The impeachment has been carried out, okay? But the question is, they were in Nakuru, uh, these other MCAs, eh? they mm -hmm. were in Nakuru, and uh, these ones were in the, in the county assembly. How did they know the numbers were not sufficient enough to mm -hmm. deliver an impeachment? Oh, all right. Uh, be, before we touch on uh, Waititu, yes. there's this also a uh, very one thing that we know about our judiciary system. Yes. We have had cases, Dili Dalwi, push and pull, we are here waiting, waiting. Do you think at this particular time and period the judiciary will hold the people of Nairobi at ransom waiting to rule on the case of Sonko and knowing the fate of the Nairobians in terms of governance? Uh, I don't. I've never placed a blame on judiciary alone. I place the blame on the DCI, EACC, and then the judiciary. Because there are reasons to why a case can be adjourned in the court. One, when a judge or a magistrate has been transferred and he or she is handling your case, now your case will be adjourned because you need to face now another new magistrate or judge. That is number one. Number two, a case can be adjourned when the, 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 the police officer is engaged, who is handling your case, eh? Mm -hmm is engaged somewhere and cannot appear in the court. Number three, a case can be adjourned when the prosecution fails to, pro to present the witness in court. So if all these things are well planned, mm -hmm. then there'll be an uh, the case will be Expeditionally, ex 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 okay. Uh, yeah. But now we have seen these cases. Yes. Every time there's a problem, do you think this thing will happen? You will hear so and so has been transferred, and this thing has happened. So, and there's no evidence, enough evidence actually. Uh, right Are now, we going to see that case? Right now, what I can say, the transfer of magistrates and judges, I think. I cannot count on it at the moment. But the, my worry is the DCI and the EACC. They say they the have question, enough evidence. The question is, they have only said they have enough evidence. <laughs> like you see the case of uh, the Samburu governor. Has taken a long time in courts, OK? And I believe if there's enough and sufficient evidence, then this person, sh the care, the justice should prevail, All right. OK? <laughs> but. In case, uh, uh, but because of the, the dilly darling, I believe there's something also wrong with them. Okay. Okay. So what we only need to do, we need also a timeline. You see, like uh, the, 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 you see, like uh, the, the presidential, uh, the, pre the, the, the presidential petition. How it has a timeline. What we need, we need to have a timeline on such a matters, on economic crime matters. All Let right. me put it that way, mm -hmm. economic crime matters, because these are economic crime, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. We need to have a limit when the case should be heard, All right. okay? Mm -hmm. And when it is referred to the high court, how long should it take? So if we have such a timeline, then we shall serve in justice to our people, because also the voters or the constituents Mm -hmm. I also waiting for this. Right. They also need to understand what is their next step. What should they do? Because they are also orphans. You elect someone, someone who will become and later be accused mm -hmm. of uh, of, uh, of uh, corruption cases, okay, right. or whatever case. <laughs> then you ha you lack leadership. There's a leadership vacuum because this person cannot access the office. All right, due let's to corruption move. charges. There's another scenario of uh, Governor Obado, who, uh, apart from the, 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 the murder case, eh, mm -hmm. there was also a corruption case. Mm -hmm. Where did it go? Migori Governor? Yes. Okay. There was also a, a corruption case. Mm -hmm. If you can follow very well, there was also a corruption case on top of that. So where did this corruption case go? This is what we need to question. 
from the DCIs and the EACCs. Well, we, we have less than two minutes, and I want you to comment on this one factor that uh, our system, political system, in terms of impeaching a governor and making sure now he's not there no more. Like the case in of Waititu, the MCS did what they did, but now he has to go through the uh, Senate. And this Senate, are we sure they will stand firm and impeach him completely? That is a worry we have now. We have less than two minutes. Thank you. It's a big worry. Bearing in mind, the Senate has discovered one thing. You can be a senator today and tomorrow you're a governor. So they are looking at, if I, do, if I, I slice my friend to, today, if I slaughter my friend today, mm -hmm. tomorrow I'll be slaughtered. What you do to others. So what you do to others will be done unto you. <laughs> so th okay. those are some of the games that are trying to play safe. Mm -hmm. And also, the system also, uh, the, 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 the system also has deprived the voters their rights. Because, one, if the senators impeach the governor, the governor will run to court. Mm -hmm. Okay? When the court will re reinstate the governor, or will not reinstate the governor. The governor will go to the higher court. Higher court. Okay? And time is moving. And time is You saw the case of Wambora. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Senate in, uh, uh, passed the, the impeachment thing. Okay? Mm -hmm. Then he ran to the courts. The courts allowed, uh, uh, supported the Senate. Mm -hmm. Then he went to the higher court. The higher mm -hmm. court appealed mm -hmm. and uh, reinstated him as the governor. So you see, such a challenge is what we have in our governance system. And I think the chapter 6 of the Constitution should be looked into. Not only when somebody is going for an election or a uh, higher office, but also when somebody is in the office. The chapter 6 of the Constitution should be looked and into. And is this a recommendation that should have been recognized through the BBI other than saying the speaker should come up? Very true. These are some of the recommendations that um, most people who did their presentations mm -hmm. to the BBI mm -hmm. missed out. Because if we can relook into the ethics chapter, the chapter 6 of the Constitution, mm. then we shall safeguard ourselves as the Kenyans and uh, uh, the Kenyan voters. Right. Because devolution was meant to bring services to the common Mwananchi, right. to the locals. Mm -hmm. But devolution actually is serving very few. Because when the money is sent from the, from the national treasury to the counties, mm -hmm. this money for development is very little. Oh. But for these other expenditures, it's very high. All Entertainment, right. you, you see every governor is holding a Christmas party. Mm. Where well, are these money coming from? No, we are out of time. Your Thank final you. words, very briefly. My final words is, we, as Kenyan voters, we need to take our leaders into accountability. It is high time. We need to protect our country. It's high time. We need to protect our image. And it won't come from our leaders. It will come from us, the Kenyan voters. So it's high time. All right, many thanks for coming and sharing your comments. He has been my guest, as said as a little, he's an analyst. Coming up next is why uh, Masha Ricky with Ken Redbis and DJ TSK. I'll be seeing you again in the end of the year. Keep it Y254. My name is Dereva Hillary. Have a very, very wonderful night and Merry Christmas to you. Goodbye.